Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nuzlocke run. We got a cleanse tag. Uh, okay, that's not terrible. Oh, we could have got an eBay in this area. That would have been interesting. Uh, we're going to do some... Oh, yeah, bro, it would have been so nice. What do you think? I look just like a Pikachu, right? Uh, apparently we're going to do a trainer battle to start out this episode with Poke Kid Shane. I didn't mean to run into Poke Kid Shane, but we're going to fight his Pikachu. His male Pikachu. Uh, pretty sure Pikachu has abysmal defense stats, so this shouldn't be too hard. Oh, well, no quick attack. Definitely forgot to heal up Rosa. Sorry, Rosa. Uh-oh. 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 Well, we're definitely not going to have a quicker quick attack now. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Rosa. Okay, that's that's okay. That's okay, Rosa. You're okay. Just quick attack. Just quick attack, Rosa. That's all you gotta do is just quick attack. Oh, thank God. How am I faster than you? I'm paralyzed. Oh, I guess you didn't use quick attack. Why wouldn't you, though? Well, Gina leveled up and so did Terry. That's good. That's good. That was actually really terrifying. Pika! Okay, well, let's... Be careful, man. It would have been so nice to have caught a Yamper. Oh, at least we got our our uh, Debbie here. <sighs> we're, I think we're just going to talk to the tent lady and skip straight on to the gym. And then come back and fight these trainers for XP after we do the gym. Uh, but we're just going to run straight to the Pokemon Center for now. And we'll come back and get all these trainers and items. After the gym... Okay, apparently we're doing a cutscene first. Hulu, where do you think you're- Oh, right, the, uh, this is the gym leader, I think. Bah! Hulu, where do you think you're going? Hulu crashed into you and stopped. Hi, Milo. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Actually, Mil Milo would probably have a southern accent. Hmm, oh, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Yes, indeed. I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name's Milo. I'm a gym leader and rather partial to grass-type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym leaders are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. Come on now, back to the stadium with you too. We can't keep the gym challengers waiting. See you later, Milo. Alright, now we're gonna go heal Rosa before she uh, has any more incidents. Oh, hello, Hop. Hop, are you gonna wanna fight me? Let's save the game. I mean, res I'm not gonna reset, obviously, if something goes wrong, but I just wanna. Hop, don't fight me, please. Look, just take a look at that, Toast. That's Turfield Stadium down there. The gym leader just returned, too. Milo's his name. But the place is jam-packed with challengers. It'll be ages before our turn comes up. Oh, but Sonya was looking for you, Toast. She wanted to ask you about something. She tried asking me, but I had no idea. She's up on the what's-her-face hill. You know the one. What? You don't know the hill? Well, have a look at your map if you're not sure. Oh, it's a yamper! A yamper. Oh, if it isn't Sonya's cute yamper. He's a good boy. Let me show you the way. <laughs> yamper. Hey, right, I'll follow you in a second, yamper. First, I gotta heal Rosa. Ba, ba, ba. You know, now that I think about it, you're going to tell me, by the way, you may be able to see a rare Pokemon at your station now. That rare Pokemon is a Galarian Slowpoke. Galarian Slowpokes are water psychic types. If we replaced Hitchcock with Doug, we could then replace... 
I don't know, maybe Terry or Scully, one of the two. We could replace them with the Galarian Slowpoke. Then we would have a Water Psychic, a Ground, an Ice, a Fire, a Poison Grass, and... I mean, it would be nice to... I would would like to one day replace probably Jake. Although, Jake could be useful for Raihan. I don't know, man. I, I want a flying type so bad. And Terry evolving into Gyarados is technically going to make him a flying type. But the only flying type move he's going to be able to take advantage of is Bounce, which is useless. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. I was just thinking it might be useful to replace Hitchcock with Doug and then grab a Galarian Slowpoke to replace one of our other... Maybe Scully with. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll, 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 we'll think of something. Not right now, but eventually we might do that. Well, while we're here... I mean, I guess I don't really need to be in the Pokemon Center to do this, but let's let's take a look at our natures of our Pokemon. We've been catching lots of Pokemon recently, so let's uh, let's check them out. So, a couple episodes ago, we got Kevin. Decreased attack, which sucks, but increased defense. Uh, Cotton Down is an interesting ability, though. Whenever somebody hits us with an attack, uh, we lower their speed. So that's good. Uh, we got Doug, Sand Veil. Not terrible, not great. Uh... Oh, yeah, and uh, Kevin knows Sing rap Rapid Spin could be very useful for any entry hazards we might face. Uh, Razor Leaf has a high crit chance, but again, lowered attack, so eh. Sing only has a 50% chance of hitting, so it's not the best. Now that we have Sleep Powder on Gina, it's obviously going to be a better option. Uh, and then last episode, we got Debbie. Who knows? Growl, Home Claws, Scratch, and Payday. Doesn't even take advantage of the Steel type. We might be able to actually teach Debbie the Steel move. Let's see if we can't teach Debbie some moves. Uh, I know that Kevin can't learn any moves, but I haven't tried Doug or Debbie yet, so let's try that. Uh, Sand Attack actually is not a terrible move. I honestly might teach you Sand Attack. Uh, if I ever use you, I'm definitely going to teach you Sand Attack. Let's see. I mean... Mud Slap is kind of a terrible move, but at least it takes advantage of your stab. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's, let's see if uh, Debbie can learn any steel moves. Fake out? That's not a terrible move. <laughs> well, actually, compared to the other moves, you know it is. Uh, it might be more useful than Growl, actually. Since you're a Steel type. Yeah, we're gonna replace Growl with Fake Out. Let's let's go do this gym challenge. Well, first we gotta talk to Sonya, but then we'll do the gym challenge. <gasps> there he is. I'll be right second, Yamper. I can get this item first. I'll be there, Yamper. Don't worry. Ooh, X attacks. Not allowed to use more than one of those, so those are kind of useless in this run. Uh, any other items around? Probably not. Oh, no, speak of the devil. Ooh! 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 Ooh. Well, we could use that on Gina. Eventually. Who's your little... Who's your good boy, you poor? Thanks, Yamper. Bow wow. I had you come because I wanted to hear what you thought. So, that geoglyph, what do you think of it? I think it looks like a uh, Gigantamax Toxtricity. It 
Seems likely. It certainly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. I suppose people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this, but it looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't just be a coincidence. Take a sip of water. Remember, stay hydrated, folks. <sighs> Long time ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant. But what was that black storm they called the darkest day? What connection does it have to Dynamax? Sonia, why did you ask me if I wanted the long or short version of this story in the hotel earlier if you were just going to give me the long version of it now anyway? Guess I'm the lucky lady who will be looking into that. Grincher gives me a lot to do. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. As thanks, I'll give you a lead card. Wait, why do you give me Milo's lead? That's so weird. <laughs> thanks for listening to me. Here's a picture of a grass gym leader. Milo is a grass-type gym leader. Things will go well for you if you use fire, flying, or bug-type moves. Well, good thing we have a Rosa. Take these two. It'd be pretty bad if your Pokemon weren't in fighting form. Man, can you imagine if we had started with a, uh, it, with a, um, Sobble? We'd probably be dead right now. <laughs> oh, thank you. I will sell these for fashion. Go on, then. Get yourself to Turfield Stadium and battle yourself silly. <gasps> Who's a good boy, Yamper? Who's a good boy, Yamper? Who's a good boy? Alright, let's go do the gym battle, shall we? Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But first. Perfect. This one's going in the scrapbook. Alright, let's go. Let's go beat up some plants. All right, Milo, show me what you got. Oh, we gotta talk to Hop first, of course. Why wouldn't we have to do a cutscene with Hop first? Take a look at this, Toast. I never would have been able to figure out this was a building if Hop hadn't told me. The grass gym patch. I caught it in one try. I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling Lulu. I've had plenty of practice at it, after all. But I'm sure you can win this one, too. After all, you are my, you are my rival. All right. All right. I just realized I never marked down that I got a uh, glaring Meowth in Route 4, so I'm going to write that down really quick. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go do this. <gasps> it's my favorite guy. Hello. Hey there. Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. As a sign of our friendship, let me give you a wonderful Pokeball. If you catch a Pokemon with the friend ball, it'll become friendly with you in no time, just like how we became friends. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Thank you, ball guy. You're the you're the man, ball guy. Is there anybody that doesn't like ball guy? I mean, I know he's creepy as hell. But how can you not love ball guy? Welcome, Gym Challenger. Allow me to help you through your registration. First things first, how about a quick refresher? Oh no, no, I know. Who has, uh, I've been playing Pokemon for like 20 years. I know how the gym works. Yes, please. Okay, I gotta go change into the outfit. I gotta go get out of my fashionable outfit. God, is that what my hair looks like? Okay, well, we gotta take care of that at some point. I wish I would have realized sooner that's what my hair looked like. This is oh, the worst news I've received all day. You know what it is? It's the hat. Of course. How, how could I not realize? I was wearing a hat. No wonder I thought I had good hair. Never look at it under the hat. It looks pretty good from that angle, actually. But from the back, it looks so ugly. The mission given by Turfield's Pokemon Gym is this. To chase our unruly Wooloo. So that blockade we've made uh, from our bales of straw over there. Alright. 
Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as a referee, and it's also my job to report the results of battles to the League HQ. Now let the gym mission begin. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. We can do this. Easy as pie. <laughs> Just headbutt their way. <gasps> He's a yipper! Yapper, don't. Yapper, I know you like Wooloos, but don't. Be a good boy, Yapper. Good boy, Yapper. Good boy. Oh boy. That guy kind of looks like me. He looks like what I looked like when I was in, like, middle school. Except for my haircut was a little better. Welcome, Jim Challenger. Sorry, but I'll have to send you packing. It's my job. Yeah, that, that hair is just terrible. I mean, I mean, his hair. My hair actually looks pretty good when it's blowing in the wind like this. Just don't look at it from the back, please. Trainer Samuel. Gossipler, eh? Sorry, I did bring a fire type. Hope that's not against the rules. Alright, let's find out what happens if uh, Rosa levels up above 20, because I think that's about to happen. Well, not quite yet, but it might happen before we get to Milo, depending on how things go. <laughs> As expected, a gym challenger and their Pokemon are in perfect sync with each other. I mean, I don't see any reason why we would fight that trainer if we don't need to. We don't really need the experience at the moment. And it's not like we need to worry about our Pokedex. Oh, I see two Yampers in the next area. Two perfect boys? I might have to run into you. In fact, it looks like I'm going to have to. Or not. I can just completely avoid you. Again, normally I would fight every trainer, but in this particular circumstance, I think we're better off just going straight to Milo. Alright, let's go get our first badge! Let's go get our first badge! Come on! Let's get our first badge. This is a long stairway. They're, they put a lot of time and effort and money into these. God, I really gotta fix the back of my hair. I'm on camera for these, you know. Look, I mean, look at all these people that are about to see the ugly back of my head. <sighs> I'm so sorry for everyone on the left of the stadium. Nice shot of our butts for some reason. That's quite the hat you have, Milo. My gym is the first one people face, so we get a lot of challengers. That's why I try to keep the gym mission challenging, but... That didn't stop you from completing it, Toast. That was supposed to be challenging, Milo? You are a simple man. Proper job. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is gonna be a doozy of a battle. I have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I wanna win. Well, considering I have a fire type, I... I mean, yeah, <laughs> I would agree. Although I'm still not sure how you're gonna do. All right. Challenged by gym leader Milo. The man with no nose and no whites to his eyes. Let's see how we do. Hey, I've got one of you. I've got a Kevin. Uh, I mean, I guess there's no real reason not to Dynamax, right? 
Is this a physical? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Might as well. I don't see why not. It's only got two Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not too worried about you right now, Milo. Well, I guess we'll see how your next Pokemon does. But now that it's Harsh Sunlight, we should be fine. Uh-oh. Hopefully Rosa still listens to me at level 21. Woo-loo, er, woo-hoo! We're not gonna be done in that easy. Eldegoss, okay. Oh, you're gonna Dynamax. Well, hopefully Rosa will listen to me. Come on, then, it's Dynamax time. You're about to be uprooted. It's so weird to me that they chose not to give him whites to his eyes or a nose. I'm probably faster than this thing, and it's harsh sunlight, so we should be okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Say goodbye to your health. There we go. <laughs> As if you could ever be any match for my perfect being that is Raboot. Thank god Raboot's still- oh wow, you get a lot of XP from a Dynamax Pokemon, huh? That must not have been very interesting for the people to watch. Imagine, like, coming all the way from a different region to the stadium to watch this event, and the gym leader just gets taken out by, like, a nobody with a fire type. <laughs> the power of grass is wilted. What an incredible gym challenger. I've never seen a fire type before. Oh, my hair hurts so bad. That must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. No, it really wasn't. As proof that you've defeated a gym leader for the gym challenge, allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. Thank you, Milo. You are... You, your hands are massive. Well, I guess you are probably like 10, 15 years older than me. I'd assume. You can now catch Pokemon up, up to level 25. You need to obtain all eight gym badges in order to complete the gym challenge. And the only way to gather the badges is to defeat every gym leader. Challenger Toast, my most sincere congratulations on defeating the gym leader Milo. Please accept this TM. <gasps> Magical Leaf. Ooh. Ooh. Magical Leaf. That might be useful. I might be able to teach that to my, uh, Kevin. I don't know if he's a physical or special attacker, though. Some advice for you, Toast. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means you'll, your next stop should be in Hullbury to meet Nessa. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, good thing we have Gina. Hullbury is just beyond Route 5. Or, since you've got the grass badge, you, you can head to the wild area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are a higher level than the Pokemon on your team. God, I'm having flashbacks to Gina. But they make powerful allies if you succeed. Alright. Fashion. Oh. Oh, you only sell uniforms. That's... Uh... What's our current uniform look like? Oh, here it is. Wait, no, that's not even our current uniform. What's our current uniform? All right, let's look at all the options. I don't hate rock. I think rock might be the way to go. 
It doesn't match with my hat, though. Normal isn't bad. Normal might be good. I guess we don't wear our hat when we go into the challenge, huh? Because we weren't wearing it in the last cutscene, that's why I noticed the hair. We weren't wearing our bag, either. These are $18,000! Never mind. Yes. Yes, I am here to sell. I'd like to sell some items for fashion. Uh, this I can sell. And... Never gonna need these. That'll be some fashion, please. Anything else I can sell? Uh... That would be nice for Kevin, I think. Alright. Alright, let's go... What are we gonna do? Uh, we need to defeat all those trainers we skipped on Route 4. Uh, and we're gonna want to... You know what I want to do? Now that we can fly, let's go back to... Motostoke, and we are going to fix this atrocity that is the back of our head. I know there's there it is. I knew I saw a barber shop. All right, all right. Look at the back of my head. Yes, obviously hair. All right. You're not going to show me the back of my head. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's too long. That, that's it? That's your only options? Uh, that doesn't look awful. Bleh. Very subtle. That might be too much white. No! <gasps> oh, that could be good. Uh, let's go back to dark brown for now, just see how this looks. Uh, let's just see how this looks for now. See if this is better or worse. I mean, I, I gotta see it with the hat on. With that, without the hat on. Uh, not yet. It's a little... It's a little short in the front. I wasn't expecting it to be as short as it is in the front. Mm. Not sold on this. I mean... It does look better in the back. Uh, having the brown hair is nice with these, uh, the current boots and bag. I'm not sold on the front though. I'm really not. I might, I might change up the front. Is that really gonna look better? It doesn't seem like it would, right? But I guess with the... Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that either. That might look better with the hat, I guess. Let's see it. I 
All right, let's do this. Oh, man. I'm not a fan of this. Don't like these hair. These hair options. Honestly, I think it looked better the other way. Which is why I picked it the first time, but I thought maybe the hat would fix it, but God. I can't get the back right without getting the front wrong. <laughs> what is this, Pokemon? Uh hmm. <sighs> Let's go back to short. And just hope that later in the game we'll be able to update it better. It looks so bad in the back. Look at that. I don't think that's going to be good. This is what we were rocking before. They're all so bad. I think this is what we had by default. Her. Maybe it was that. What did we look like before? <laughs> I think we had these before. God, I hate that back of that. Though. Whatever. Let's just get it over with. Ten thousand dollars well spent explore the city for some items. I'm sure there's... We never explored this place. Oh, speak of the devil. That'll help with our fashion. Let's see. Ooh. I can sell that for fashion. See a fashion item. Give me that fashion item. Oh, actually, no. That would be useful for if we get a dark type move. <laughs> I got one of those. I see an item for fashion. Potential fashion item incoming. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give that fashion. Oh, three great balls. Those are some great balls. Now, I could fish for a Pokemon here, but I think what I'm going to do, because this city, Motostoke, I believe is where the fire trainer Kabu is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until the part of the story where you actually get into the gym, because I... He has a part of his gym challenge where he can catch a Pokemon. So I think it would be benef more beneficial to me to wait to potentially catch an extra fire type than to catch another magic card. Maybe. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but it's my current plan at least. Oh, <gasps> fashion. Potential fashion. Uh, well, okay. I think that's everything we can get in the city for now. So, thanks for watching, everybody. See you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.